What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to one of my most requested videos to date. This is the ultimate anti-meta Everything is covered here. Setup, tactic, sub tactic, everything. And we're going to give you three examples as well with loads of in game clips. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get straight into it. All right, so there's a couple of reasons why we call this video and why we're actually doing this ultimate anti meta video. Number one is, right, this is kind of an anti meta because you're also playing the meta. So if you are confused about that, right, there is a couple of unusual and very overpowered um, anti meta tactics and formations you can do, such as this 3 5 2 wing back one. But a lot of the time with the games that you're going to see, lads, you've probably noticed this online as you go up the divisions. And if you found this video and you're searching for meta and anti-meta, it means that you're probably kind of figuring out what works in the game and what doesn't work. And a lot of the time you'll see these couple of examples, it's all got to do about end-to-end -end aggressive, winning the ball back, losing the ball, winning the ball back again. And this is effectively the stereotypical meta, right? You're playing long ball, you're using Diego, Diego Simeone, and you are going to isolate your three center forwards and you're going to have a central spine in your midfield one holding midfielder which is an anchorman or in this case patrick vieira you've got three central backs which is cardoba varan and delict it doesn't matter you can insert any player you want here into this system this is a very stereotypical the meta long ball counter now look skill still comes into it you know you the top guys in the in the world are still unbelievable on the sticks but this is the actual meta formation with the tactics right and it's all about central attacks interceptions counters high pressing and aggressive end-to-end -end play so the majority of the people that use this kind of let you or make you play them at their own game so it's like right if i'm coming up against somebody and i'm a possession based player but my opponent is going to score three goals i'm not going to score four to beat him i want to keep things tight so that's where the anti-meta comes in about fighting fire with fire even though you're still using long ball counter you're actually mixing it up a little bit but as i said there again the personnel the players that is kind of irrelevant right because a lot of the games will take on a life of their own if you play meta players and meta tactics and formations and setups and you try and use kind of uh, the way i look at it right lads is there's tactics in football but if you're going out and you're playing a 4-3-3 versus a 4-3-3 then it's going to be all about individual performances and who can actually score their goals right it's the same in e-football and it's the same in any game so sometimes you kind of have to mix it up a little bit and do what works for you and i think that this anti-meta is the ultimate one for doing that because you're staying tight at the back you're letting the ai help you out a little bit and defensively you're very solid while you still have a bit of manual play and input into it because you'll see from these clips here lads right no matter what you do right if you are playing the game on this level right if you are an excellent player and you're able to finish 90 percent of your chances you will dominate pretty much anyone that you come up against right but if you are playing somebody that is you know better that you better than you is better reflexes at a better squad than you um if you are fighting fire with fire in terms of end to end loads of chances no real control a lot of mayhem in the middle of the field where you literally have the ball for a split second and you're getting rid of it no possession no passing no real space being opened up if it's just going to be end-to-end -end chaos like this you don't really kind of have control over the game unless you're an insane player at just getting chances through the center and and just being able to pop them in right and again you will see this time and time again if you're playing the legend challenge right i have a legend video coming out how to beat the ai challenge on legend very easily and it kind of uses a lot of concepts in this i tested out this lads dozens of hours against the ai because the ai set up not to beat you but the ai set up um you know to actually go direct to goal and the most direct route so a lot of the time what happens is you will concede goals like this if you go end to end like you know you 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 usually would against online right so the first one that we're going to take a look at lads is a long ball counter with possession now why i say possession is i have covered this video before in the 352 wing back uh anti-meta video you saw at the start of the video there um it's the green thumbnail and i'll show you a pop-up here as well it's already up on my channel this is covered in depth so if you want to pause the video and go back and watch that brilliant if you've already watched it you'll know what i'm talking about here it's all about patient build up it's all about possession it's all about variety and flexibility and here's a good example of that where we're using the wit right grimaldo on the wing here we're opening up our opponent we're getting a chance in we're crossing we're not just creating chances through the center we're actually looking to get into the box 
from out wide areas and then pump the ball in rather than going through center. Now you can still do this, right? You can still do the counters. You can still mix everything where you've got a lot of runners and you've got a lot of wit when you come in from the side, like a messy hero finishing, but mostly it's all about control in the wings, right? The second option that you have, if you want to go ultimate anti-meta, and as I said, lads, I am trying to give the most thorough anti-meta video that you possibly can have. If you've got any suggestions you want me to go through as to why I didn't pick that formation or set up, let me know and we can check it out. This is option number two, right? So this one is all about man in man and midfield. Four man midfield wall, possession is key here. Central attacks, but you're slowing down the tempo. You're stopping central attacks from your opponent. And it's also gonna be a more low scoring. So you're kind of blocking a wall, uh, putting up, a, building a wall up against the central midfield and defense. And when you're manually pulling your players back, you're gonna be defending with six players. Now you can still score goals, but it's gonna be more about kind of against the run of play and just taking your chances when, that, when you get them. You know, being very direct in goal, you know, very little um, take onto the ball. If you're playing long ball counter, no matter what formation that you play, even if you're playing five at the back, you will still make the runs like this. Option number three, is going to be a long ball counter with sub tactic now this is probably my favorite one um and a lot of people look down on five at the back but the thing that they miss out on five at the back is you are switching it up very very easily with the sub tactic now for anyone that doesn't know how to use sub tactic i will show you in a second but it's simply holding down on the d-pad when you're in the game so this is all about frustrating your opponents and you know closing out the middle ground um, flexibility and also confusing opponents. So this is the sub tactic setup. You saw a second ago the tactic that we're going to be starting the game with and when we're out of possession and this is to activate the sub tactic by holding down on the d-pad. You will see that in your team plan um, when you're going with the yellow button there and then you can mix and match. This is our secondary formation and tactic setup that we're going to be using. So we go to a more traditional 4-3-3 with two strikers and a little bit more meta, right? Now, I'm using the blimp camera here, lads, right? The reason why I'm using this is I want to show you the actual flexibility and the way that the players position themselves when you're playing against the AI. So this is a normal tactic. We're deep line on a long ball counter. This is the deepest defensive setup that you can have with the tactics, which is a long ball counter. We'll show you quick counter in a second, which is very high up line. Think of like Arsenal, Barcelona, those types of teams, Man City. Um, but for this one, it's all about when you lose the ball. Watch how deep I am, right? And I'm going to close it down here again. We've got our four backs there. Marquinhos is over on the overlo overloaded side, right? Now, when he's attacking down that flank, Marquinhos is going to naturally drift up as a right back because right backs and left backs, unless you actually stay defensive with them, they are going to always try and support. One of them will when you're playing a back five. It's just coded in. So with Marquinhos and Saka here, when we are actually using the team play style long ball counter, we're always going to have that block of four. If we switch this to quick counter or we go, you know, out wide or one of those where you're a little bit more attacking, you'll see how high the line is here. So one difference that you can very visually see is when we lose the ball here, watch the positioning of my players. I've got my three central back players. That's fine, right? That's fine. But when we actually lose the ball out here wide again from going from a counter attack to losing the ball, when I actually manually put the ball out over the line, watch how far up my central players are. Look at the space. I have literally nobody in my own half. Now, this is fine when you're playing against the AI because they don't really rip you, but that's a big issue when you're playing online against somebody that's going to be playing meta. So that is it for another video, lads. Let me know what you guys thought. As I said, any questions, suggestions, comments, questions that you have on, you know, how to set up a different formation than this, this formation and this tactic, the ultimate meta, ultimate anti-meta is all about flexibility. You can see it here on screen. It's all about variability. Is that even a word? Variety, flexibility, using possession. I see a lot of people in my live stream say, oh, you're using Simeone, you're using long ball counter. You can use a setup and a game plan setup, right? But you don't have to play that way, if that makes sense. All you're doing with this formation to make it, instead of meta to anti-meta, is you're using what's good about it, right? Defensively, when you don't have the ball. So you're letting your AI be deep on defense. And um, when you don't have the ball, you're letting your players bomb forward on counter to give you support because you can only control one player at a time. But at the same time, when you have the ball, that's the difference. You're going to be spreading it out wide. You're going to be overloading. You're going to be uh, uh, crossing balls in. You're going to be switching up with quick counters, triangles, ping pong passing. You're going to be having a mixture of things. It's not just plan A. And if plan A doesn't work or you come up against somebody that's better at plan A than you, you have to adapt. You're adapting straight away. You're making it as part of your actual gameplay. Um, and your style of play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to cover everything. If I missed anything, let me know. 
Until next time, lads, I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. It took me a lot of time to edit this. So I hope you guys uh, do subscribe if you like what you see. And if not, let me know what you don't like about the video. Let me know and we can grow and bit of, uh, a bit of constructive criticism. Um, yeah, so that's it. We will talk to you later, lads. Peace.